eight, seven. Here six, we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, oh. Dragon Princess, or Dark Princess, giving us uh, quite a show at the beginning of this fight. Oh, that was a nice hit from Judge's Dream. This is a brother-sister match here, and Judge's Dream has successfully knocked out Dark Princess's undercutter. Yeah, that has not been functioning since the beginning of the fight. It almost looks like it threw itself off right at the beginning there. Puts her at wow. a distinct disadvantage. Judge's Dream going in. Ooh, nice shot on the back plate from Judge's Dream. Really, we, are, we are about to see like a, a you know the clinical driving match here from both of these uh, these builders. Uh, you know the the Yankaskis family, fantastic drivers. They uh, they're practicing at home in their own uh, combat robot box, and uh, you can see that uh, that skill on display here. Yeah, but this is uh, the the weapon on uh, Dark Princess has not been up to speed since the very beginning of this fight. Puts her at a distinct disadvantage. Everything's working beautifully on Judge's Dream right now. Oof. Another big hit there on Dark Princess. Great driving from Hunter here. Dark Princess was uh, momentarily stuck behind Br Brett. Yeah, that there's Brett. Brett the Brick. The original. The OG. The one I'd wonder. Oof. Good little pop right there from Judge's Dream on Dark Princess. Coming down to the last 60 seconds in this match. I gotta say, at some point, I want to see this match again with both weapons fully functioning. Yes. Because the driving's just great. It's just yeah. unfortunate. 50 seconds left in this fight. Both robots still moving. But the weapon's still up to full speed on Judge's Dream. Thirty seconds left. All right, this one will very likely go to the judges. And I see the... Seems like it's been pretty one-sided yeah. throughout. I see the team behind Project Eight, Liftoff is watching seven, this fight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapons and Both drive to the door. Able to drive to the door under their own power. This one goes to the judges. First of all, we've got a super chat from Mary Carr. She says, thank you for appeasing the people. <laughs> uh, you know what, Chris and Luke, you've got to give the people what they want. I really appreciate that too. All right, so judges, <sighs> that, was, uh, that was a fight. So let's go ahead and start with you, Jack. Tell us what you thought. Uh, that was pretty decisively in judges' dreams' favor. Yep. To me, they were the only one with a functioning weapon and they just kept control for the duration. All right, we've got one vote for Judge's Dream. Don, your thoughts? Judge's Dream. Okay, we've got two for Judge's Dream. How about you, Andrew? Uh, three again for Judge's Dream. All right. All right. Unanimous judge's decision for Hunter Yankaskis and Judge's Dream, who will be facing Project Liftoff in exactly 20 minutes. That's exactly right. A round right. of applause for Annika Yankaskis for incredible work today. Great, yeah. great work today, Annika. Sorry, what was that? Your gift card will come in the mail. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a, an eye roll for everybody who didn't see it on camera. That's a smart kid. I like that kid. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, the Yankaskises, they both did a fantastic job today. The weapon went down. Um, yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, when we were talking about the matchup, you know, you know, this this is a good matchup for uh, for the Yankaskis kids. I think so. Judge's Dream is a very aggressive kind of like in-your-face robot. If they are able to keep their weapon going for the full three minutes, yeah. you know, they could pretty effectively corral Project Liftoff, 